How do you address different genders at the same time in your sales copy? Hey guys, Jim Edwards here, and welcome to another edition of Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. And so this is interesting, and I, I've, sometimes I, I have to laugh when people ask me questions, especially because it's me, and I think, you know, how do you address different genders? And, and I just, I get all politically incorrect inside my mind, and I crack myself up and laugh, and then I have to remember that I, I have to be good sometimes. So um, how do you address different genders at the same time? I will tell you how I do it. And yeah, yeah, I guess you got to be sensitive to all that stuff now. Again, something I'm not really all that awesome at. But the biggest thing I would tell you is what I do is I simply just say things like, Hey, everybody, Jim Edwards here. It's not like, hi, ladies and gentlemen, or hi, non-binary, gen, just whatever. It's like, hey, everybody, Jim Edwards here. Uh, hey, y'all. Um, hey, guys. Hey, everyone. You know, when I say, hey, guys, people are like, oh, that's male specific. Uh, shut up who cares it, it's like at some point you gotta you gotta just not worry about it okay now if you're doing something where you have to be super super sensitive then be super super sensitive but don't be so sensitive that you hamstring yourself with your ability to communicate i, I know that we have to worry about these things but i still think that the vast majority of people ain't too worried about it and if you come across with good information and you come across as sincere and authentic and uh, doing what you're supposed to do nobody's gonna throw a hissy fit over the fact that you address everyone together as hey guys or hey everybody or Hey, hey, friends, or hey, y'all. Um, and if anybody does have a spaz over it, guess what? Get them off your list. Don't worry about it. So I know this was a big concern uh, for one of our, our readers. Um, the, the best thing I could tell you is just to make sure that you are sensitive to your audience, but not so sensitive to a teeny tiny minority that, oh my God, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying minority. Um, you're not so super sensitive to a minority that's gonna get butt hurt anyway, no matter what you do, that you just don't, don't worry about it. Just be authentic, be helpful, be yourself, and, um, and just get it done is the best thing I can tell you. Now, I do wanna ask you a question though. I want you to think about this. I answer these questions in the morning and they're pretty cool and they're fun. And for some people, getting your question answered is like, it's the, it's the one thing that was holding them back. And, and I, I've been in that situation before. Uh, I remember one time I was in, a, I was in a hotel lobby talking to Marlon Sanders. And I was having trouble with figuring out bonuses for my offer. And he dropped a piece of advice on me that I will forever remember and be grateful for. He said, Jim, take your... Custom, take your competitor's USP, their unique selling proposition, and give it away as a free bonus. And that was some life-altering stuff. And that's what happens when you are in a mastermind situation, when you're actually in a one-on-one -on -one type situation where you can actually talk to people and ask questions. It's not in a giant seminar. And that's another reason why you need to be on the gym boat. Because if you think it would help you in your business to be able to spend time with me and with my friends who are super awesome and smart, and to be able to ask them questions and learn information that'll help you with your business, then that's why you need to be on the gym boat. So, if you have not already signed up for the Gym Boat, or if you're not even sure what the Gym Boat is, which is it's an amazing week-long experience with me on the high seas of the Caribbean, um, you need to go check it out at thegymboat.com. So everybody have a great day. I got to go get the chickens their snacks, and uh, then I got to go work out. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.